Hello and welcome to another video. This is just a continuation of the previous video. Um, so yeah, in the previous video, I configured the clientless SSL VPN, and in this video demonstration, I'm going to configure the re uh, the remote access SSL VPN. Um, so this is our topology. Nothing has changed really. I've saved the config on here and I've rebooted my PC. Um, again, I've got static. I got a static router on my PC pointing towards this subnet here, so we can get a uh, SDM uh, connectivity. So I'll just load up the ASDM here. Now the configuration steps are practically exactly the same as. Um, us doing the clientless so we have our group policies we have our tunnel connection profiles and then we have our local users as well um, so yeah let's have a look at this so configuration remote access VPN um, we'll do we'll go under the uh, the network client access here and then group policies so as you can see, we we still got our clientless group policy, and I'm just going to add a new one here. Um, so this will be I'll call this the Any Connect. Oh, we're going to be using the Any Connect client to connect to this as well. So this is the Any Connect uh, group policy, and the banner message will say uh, welcome to the remote access SSL VPN so this is what the users will see the address pool um, so this one I previously configured I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna create a new one uh, we're gonna call this the RA pool and we're going to use a different network address scheme altogether. I think so. Let's start 172.16.0.1, and our end address is that. So we'll take up the entire we'll take up the entire usable range here on this slash 24, and we'll assign that. Um, we can just tie it down to the SSL VPN here. We can add filters here. Um. I think we will just leave it like that. So DNS stuff, we can all we can leave that as it is. Uh, okay, so split tunneling. So yeah, this is uh, this is important thing to know about split tunnel split tunnel split tunneling says what traffic needs to go over the VPN tunnel and what traffic can remain local. So um, I just want traffic go into the inside of this particular network to go over the VPN tunnel all internet traffic can remain the same okay so we can either exclude the networks below or we can tunnel the networks below or we can tunnel everything uh, tunnel everything means all traffic will be going over the VPN tunnel I just want to um, specify which networks to go over the VPN tunnel. So I'm going to create a standard access list. Now standard access lists are generally based on source address um, but when it comes to split tunneling it's actually the destination so you don't need a, a, an extended access list you can just do it via the via a standard access list. Um, so we'll give it a name we'll call it we'll call this split split ACL and we'll add an access control entry and we are going to permit traffic to the one uh, oh yeah, to the inside network oh there we go and okay that uh, we can add some um, client profiles to download we'll come back to that now we could use DTLS as well so DTLS is just the UDP version of TLS uh, TLS is is another is um, another type of security protocol that evolved from SSL. Uh, SSL was first developed by Netscape years ago, 
and uh, so t because it's UDP it there's less overhead okay so uh, let's go to our connection profile here I'm gonna add a new connection profile we're gonna call this any connect dash profile and the alias will be the SSL VPN we're gonna be using the local database here we've already specified the uh, client um, address pool here we can specify it again just to be on the safe side but the group policy would actually take care of that and uh, we need to specify the group policy here as well which is that one there um, we want to enable the SSL VPN we could also use IPsec but we're not going to be using IPsec we're just using SSL uh, DNS server is okay do you want to set one up uh, so yeah I'll just use the inside address there advance I don't think there's anything for us to worry about here okay now then enable Cisco any connect VPN access on the interface selected in the table below we want to hit that and now this is asking us to specify which image to use I'm gonna look at the flash and I'm gonna use this PKG file here well let that sort itself out bypass the access list and allow the user to select that okay uh, one other thing that we can do like the um, uh, like the client list we can specify a URL for people to go to .0.2 slash SSL VPN VPN okay so that's enabled we're not using IPsec let's apply that let's send and let's set up a local user I'm going to add a new user called SSL VPN. This is going to be Cisco 123 and Cisco 123. I don't want them to have access to the firewall. We're going to tie this down to the group policy here and this is the uh, connection profile. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, um, so yeah, we'll leave the peer detection as it is as well. Okay, so we hit OK. Hit apply. So if we go to our Internet Explorer. So now we've got two options, clientless and SSL. If I was to log in via SSL, VPN, Cisco123, welcome to that. And it will download the client for us. I'm not, I'm, I don't want it to download the client because I've already got the client installed. And just so we know, we can also go here as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I'm because I'm already logged in. That's fine. Um, okay. So I'll close that, and I will open up the Cisco AnyConnect, which is here. And I'm gonna hit connect. And with any luck, okay, we're going to connect, continue, okay, so here we go. Um, if you try to log in 
uh, via this here. I'm mean, saying I'm connected. Anyway, if you try to connect to, to this here, it probably won't let you. Ah, okay. Hang on a second. Let's, let me just quit that. Okay, let's try that again. 11.0.0.2 Connect um, We could try, I want to show you this first here, so SSL VPN um, Let me bring up the monitoring, the login and view Let's move this over here for now, oh, actually I can move it here see what happens uh, so SSL VPN Cisco 123 <laughs> login failed okay reason yeah that's the reason that it's because we're trying to connect to the wrong one let me try the clientless VPN or oh, clientless username Cisco 123 using the any connect and we got a login denied here so we'd have to instruct the user to go to this particular group and Cisco 123 welcome to the remote access SSL VPN accept give that a second and it's saying that we're connected so if I was to open up a command prompt and if I do an IP config slash all uh, this is our any connect um, connection we've got DNS there and we've also got our first usable IP so I should be able to ping one of our servers on dot two, yes, and dot four. Okay. And I should be able to log into it via here. Uh ten dot one dot one dot four. Ah it's HTTP. Should be able to, he says. Let me just close that. Oh, oh, here we go. It's right here. Let's try that again. HTTP. For some reason it hides it. Uh, admin Cisco one two three. Okay, and we could open up another one. HTTPS. Ah, uh, dot two. Hiding again. <laughs> um, admin Cisco one two three. Okay. So yeah, if I was to bring up the AnyConnect client, we can do we can have a look at some things here. So this is our cipher. We're using DTLS. This is the root in details that we got here. So. This is basically saying that send all the ten that all the ten traffic ten dot one dot one dot zero over the VPN. Everything else, the all zeros, um, yeah, goes over your non-secure connection. So with the internet. If we was to have a look at the CLI, if I was to do show VPN uh, any connect. So yeah, this is our, even though it's not a public IP, that's where it thinks that we're coming from, which we are in this particular case. 
this, these are our encryption algorithms. So AES is a symmetric um, encryption algorithm. And then th these are our hashing algorithms. So these verify da data integrity. Um, yeah, Th this just says what profiles that we're using, our username and so forth really. We also have a look as well at the monitoring and then VPN. We can have a look at the sessions, Ooh, not the IPsec, the AnyConnect. And this this gives us a bit of information as well. Um, and I think that will be it for VP, uh, remote access VPNs. Thank you for watching.